In this tutorial today, we're going to make a table of contents in iWorks Pages. So you just open up Pages, open up a new do document with File, New. You can choose the blank document here, or you can double click or press Choose. And then we can move on to the next steps. So now what we're going to do is enter content into our document. So for example, we're going to enter in chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and chapter four. So then we're going to go to insert table of contents document. And you'll notice here that the table of contents is empty because we haven't, any, haven't specified any paragraph styles except for body. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do it properly. So first we're going to select the chapter 1 heading, go into the text styles. You can choose many styles to choose from, right now it is body. You can choose subtitle, heading, or title. We're going to choose heading 2. So go ahead and click heading 2. So you'll see it'll be much bigger. You can specify the styles of heading two on the right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the rest, go to the text styles, press heading two. So now you see they're all heading two and they're all specified as a style. So what you're gonna do now is insert a empty space in the beginning. And notice here that I put content under every single chapter heading. Just the regular lorem ipsum stuff. Okay, so you're going to scroll back up. You're going to click in the empty space. Insert table of contents document again. And it's going to take a couple minutes or even a few minutes because it's going to generate the table of contents. You'll see here that there are no leaders. If you select on the chapter selection, you'll see that it's all the same heading, all the same style. I'm gonna just fix that here. What I'm gonna do now is insert some subtitles. So just select any kind of text in there and then I'm gonna choose if I choose heading 2, it will be the same size, but what I'm going to do is choose heading 3. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the document. So I'm going to select here. I'm going to press heading 3. Then I'm going to do that for the rest. So you'll notice if you do this and then you press heading 3, the entire paragraph becomes heading 3. So to fix that, just do that, select this, and then press body again, and it'll become body again. So you just scroll back up. You notice that it is already changed inside the generated table of contents, so you don't need to generate it again. So right now what we're going to do is change the different styles here. So if you select the different styles, they, they uh, turn up in the selection color. So what we're going to do is go to text, and here we can change the indenting. So what I'm going to do is do a 0.5 just to show you. Didn't really do much, so I'm going to do one centimeter. You can change the font of the style, and you can also change the size. I'm just going to make it smaller. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some leader tabs. Just undo this tab here, and then you can change the decimal character to anything you like. So right here, there's none specified, so just specify that leader, and you'll see that it shows up underneath that text style. Select the other text style, and you can change it to whatever you like. You can change it to the dot leader. You can change it to the line or the arrows but we're going to stick with the dot leader. And here you have your completed generated table of contents.